What's going on Avengers fans, Unvitter Tammy Gaming here today bringing you some news, information, and updates surrounding the Avengers Age of Ultron movie. Now of course a lot of you already know that at the 2014 Comic Con event they actually showcased the uh, Avengers 2 trailer um, exclusive for Comic Con audience members and of course uh, whoever attended that Comic Con event actually got to see the uh, first glimpse of the actual movie and uh, audio clips have been revealed on the internet as well um, and let me me just say that the entire trailer just sounds menacing and absolutely insane i mean number one we actually get our first glimpse of ultron and how he actually looks now um to begin the actual trailer or whatnot you know you have everybody you know captain america thor you know bruce banner you know iron man er everybody's hanging out at stark enterprise or whatever and they're trying they're actually trying to lift up uh thor's hammer to see who's worthy enough to lift up the hammer or whatnot everybody's trying war machines trying you know Iron Man's trying finally Captain America tries he actually moves the, the hammer a little bit off its position and Thor is actually like you know standing there all confused or whatever he's like what the hell and then Ultron finally appears and Ultron uh, appears in a very skeletal form he's very damaged we don't know why um, but he pretty much appears and he tells the Avengers you know worthy well, you know, what makes you think that you're so worthy you know how could you be worthy you're all a bunch of killers and if you want peace It'll have to begin with your extinction and whatnot. And then they actually depict, you know, um, a whole bunch of, you know, montage clips of, you know, stuff happening like Captain America and everybody fighting these machines or whatever. And towards the end of the trailer is the best part because, you know, Ultron pretty much, you know, utters the words, there are no strings on me. And then the actual logo comes up. And then at the very end, we get to see our heroes all destroyed. I mean, everybody looks like that they're, that they're actually dead in the middle of a desert um, with Captain Captain America shield cracked in two so that kind of gets you thinking it's like how in the world and who in the world actually broke Captain America shield I mean it snapped in two I mean is Ultron that powerful and that strong that he's able to snap Captain America shield in two and the only person standing amongst you know the, the the graveyard of the Avengers is Iron Man and he looks horrified and he looks very shocked or whatever so the Avengers 2 is going to offer a lot uh, for many of you guys out there who haven't seen the trailer. Um, I would recommend you guys to go on ahead and find it. You can only hear about it. Of course, there are images and slideshow pictures to actually you know, fill in for the audio. Um, but the Avengers 2 Age of Ultron movie I'm predicting right now, it's going to have the highest grossing uh, box office of any other movie uh, before it. I feel like it's going to smash every single record. I feel as if the Avengers Age of Ultron movie is going to make more than Avatar because as of right now, Avatar is the number one movie in the world that made the most amount of money and I personally feel like the Avengers Age of Ultron is going to make uh, a lot more money than that just for the simple fact that they're going to add the Vision, they're going to add Scarlet Witch, Quicksilver and whatnot. They're going to add, you know, glimpses of Thanos and whatever. So it's it's going to be absolutely amazing i mean i'm really curious to see how how else they're gonna end off you know with uh them either killing ultron or having him you know uh locked away or whatever so i mean the avengers 2 age of ultron it, it, it does depict a lot of desperation and whatnot and and going back to what i just said yes the vision is going to be in it I, I know a lot of you guys are excited um and i know a lot of you guys watching this right now may not be you know marvel fans a lot of you guys seem to be leaning more towards dc the Batman vs. Superman movie, which, again, is going to be another fucking awesome-ass movie. Um, you know, with Marvel and DC clashing, a lot of people are going to say that, you know, uh, DC is kind of behind, and they're rushing by including Wonder Woman and Flash and everybody into this film where it doesn't need to be added into, you know? So, uh, the Avengers 2 Age of Ultron is going to lead into, uh, you know, the Avengers 3, of course, um, with Thanos or whatever. Now, a lot of people have been questioning whether or not they're going to go on ahead and do the Civil War movie which i think would be awesome to have Ca team captain america versus team iron man to see what exactly they're going to do and how exactly they're going to go about and whatnot so um especially with ultron i i feel like i feel like ultron really ought to you know introduce a new element of destruction into the next film because if he doesn't i feel like his character is going to be portrayed as weak and uh i mean with the with, with all the hype surrounding um, you know, Ultron and the Avengers 2, I feel like it's going to be the best superhero movie ever made, um, of course, until, you know, other movies come out, of course, but you're going to have Ant-Man come out, I believe, in 2016 or 2015 as well, um, I believe it's November 2015, so... 
Originally, Ant-Man was supposed to be a part of the Avengers. Um, of course, we're all disappointed on the fact that Wolverine and Spider-Man are not going to be in the Avengers 2. It would have been awesome to see Wolverine fight, you know, Ultron or Spider-Man and stuff like that. So, um, all we can do now is wait. I mean, I believe that we're about, you know, five to six months away from the actual movie release. So, um, depending on when exactly you're watching this... Um, as I said before, I feel like this movie is going to be uh, very, very good, and I think it's going to surround the story of Iron Man, because if you think about it, the Avengers 1 was pretty much telling the story of, you know, uh, Thor and Loki, because Loki came back, and Thor's trying to stop him, and whatever, so the Avengers 1 was focusing more on Thor and Loki, I feel like the Avengers 2 is going to focus more on, you know, Iron Man, and Ultron, and Iron Man's machines, such as Hulkbuster, and stuff like that, which is pretty cool, because we actually get to see Hulk collide with Hulkbuster, and that's pretty cool too, you know, um, having to see these, these two juggernauts battle it out, um, I feel like Hulk, I, I feel like Hulk is, is a character in, in and of itself. He shouldn't be stopped by any sort of machine. So, you know, having to see Hulkbuster and Hulk collide, um, I would love to see that happen. And I would love to see Hulk demolish Hulkbuster because, I mean, it only just seems right. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below surrounding the Avengers 2. Uh, do you guys think that the Avengers 2 is going to be better than Batman vs. Superman? Do you guys think the Avengers 2 is going to be the movie of the year? Remember, there are a lot of movies coming out next year. Fast and Furious 6, Star Wars Episode 7, Paranormal Activity 5, Insidious 3. You have Ted 2. You have Spongebob, a whole bunch of movies, as well as Ant-Man and stuff like that. So, do you guys think it's going to be Movie of the Year? Let me know in the comment section below. And thank you all for watching, everybody, once again. If you guys are Avengers fans, if you guys are comic book fans, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all latest news, information, and updates. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit it up with a like and a favor. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. Stay tuned for more because there is a lot more Avengers news, information, and updates to come. I hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more, and I'll be seeing each and every single one of you guys in the next episode. Take it easy, everybody. Peace!